Welcome back to another Ratface 44 Reviews. My name is James and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series Crimson Bat. We're going to open this puppy up. So let's get this started. Alright, so before we open it up, we're going to take a look at the packaging here. We're going to do a little bit of a comparisons with the other versions of the G.I. Joe Classified Bats. So, I this is probably my favorite artwork out of all the G.I. Joe Classified uh, series artwork. It's pretty much the same thing as the previous uh, Classified uh, Bats. Uh, it's just, you know, more flattened out and... This one actually kind of wraps around, which is really cool compared to the other ones, which really didn't wrap around and uh, really like the contrast the color it's a lot of red really cool love the laser shooting out looks like he's being dismantled in a machine you know like uh, of that anime uh, what is it the ghost in the shell when she's being put together or like I don't know uh, the Borg you know the, the Queen the Borg Queen when she's being put together kind of reminds me of that. It's number 60 in the line. You could look up the uh, skills online. You've got picture uh, pictures of the um, figure right here. Really cool. I like the Cobra symbol. That's really cool. Awesome. And all the accessories. And it comes with an extra head. Hey, that is bonus. That is awesome. I was not expecting that. Really cool. Crimson Bat. Later in the video, we'll have all my Crimson Guards and, you know, spoilers. <laughs> you know, I'll have all the red guys out and we'll pose them and I'll have some great montage photos for you guys at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. All right. So little, let's do a little comparison. Not too long. So here's the Python Patrol Bat. Uh, where is the artwork? It's probably, hey, it's uh, actually different. Um, I am surprised that this bat is different. It's kind of in the same pose. I don't know if you're going to like overlap it or whatever. You know, the one here is damaged. This one looks like it's, uh, he's not damaged, right? So, different artwork, but similar. Really cool. You can see the front. As you can see the front here, they use the same image on the side as the front of this one. But they put the Python Patrol logo on here. And here is the OG original bat. They definitely use the same image, but a little bit bigger on the front of the OG. And the side, same image, different color. All right, so I got my trusty scalpel right here. We'll break this guy open. Cardboard City. There's the figure. And there's the really cool weapons crate. Check that out. Really nice. Not too bad. Alright, so before we look at the figure, we're going to look at the accessories that are the smallest uh, weapon right here is the uh, sidearm, little laser pistol, or whatever you want to call it. Same as the other bat. We'll take a look at that after we do the comparison. And it comes with all these little accessory, arms accessories. You got the hook. And you got the flamethrower here. Or welder. It's probably a flamethrower. And you got the blaster. Check that out. All in this kind of black or even kind of, um, it's kind of charcoal. It's not really, really black, but it's kind of charcoal black. So it comes with a couple of these chest plates here. One damaged, and uh, you can see the cover center is all kind of scratched up, and there's holes to the, to the, the, the plate here. And this one's really nice and clean. I don't know if I, I can't read that, those numbers, but really cool, nice detail on the chest plates. So here is the damaged head. That looks really awesome. Really cool, like there's black and it's like smashed. 
underneath. It looks, uh, I, I love the contrast with that. Really cool. And I got tons of bat heads because I have tons of bats. So here is the backpack. And you got some nice mechanical detail here. It's just like the other backpack, except for, you know, you got some nice red highlights with these tubes that are uh, coming out of the side. And you got the backpack peg. And as all as we all know that you could put all the accessories in this backpack, which is really super cool. There you have it. This is awesome. So here he is in the cardboard prison. So I'll get them all uh, get them all out. Hopefully uh, there's no QC issues, and we'll take a look. The back of the packaging has a really nice cobra symbol here. Really nice. And here is the figure. So we'll go through how he looks, like we usually do, and kind of uh, quick first impressions of what he looks like, what he's uh, what he's packing. So so far, I really like the color. It's really awesome, amazing, amazing color, amazing deco. He has this kind of. Uh, Kind of a brownish red on the on the side here really kind of cool awesome so we'll start from the top i don't want to mess around so we'll start from the top right here you see he has a, that silver face plate there's a little silver highlight little vents a little silver square on the side of his head on the back you see some um, you know kind of uh, mechanical detail in black and he has this kind of wash type dull color that's on his shoulders here and uh, kind of more mechanical type of uh, gray highlights so you got some like smoke grenades here really cool chest plate silver really nice detail here I like that and he has this kind of shiny looks like rope <laughs> on the side but it's just it's like some sort of uh, texture and uh, going down his arm here, you see the uh, you see a nice co uh, silver cobra symbol, which is really awesome. A nice kind of dark uh, wash over the red, and you got the black uh, mechanical arms, Terminator style. It triggers. Awesome. And he has this other symbol right here. I'm not sure what that is. But take a look at that. Nice mechanical arms. I really like that. Got a nice uh, kind of gray uh, belt uh, connected to his connected to his sidearm uh, holster, and uh, there's one thing about these bats that, that uh, this kind of strapping thing is always misaligned, so you always have to fix it into place. So he has another kind of pouch here, black kind of uh, thigh pouch. And the holster, of course, uh, riding a little high. All right, so like I was saying here, it has this kind of wash on the side here of the red uh, kind of pants, you could say, I guess. And uh, nice texture on these pants. Got nice wrinkles. You got these kind of knee pads, red knee pads. Seems like they're unpainted. They're just the plastic color, red plastic. And we go down here, we got these black bands that go around these uh, gray boots with a little tiny little pouch on the side of the boots here. And you got a black kind of uh, highlight or strap or whatever that goes on the top of the boots here. And nice grips on the soles. All right, so let's go through how I feel about this right now. A um, little disappointed in how loose it is. You know, I have other, other bats in my collection and they are not like this. They are not loose. This is kind of really tight and loose at some parts. Legs loose. The drop downs are really weird. They're kind of stuck being dropped down, so I just put them back up. And put down the belt to make them look respectable. So overall, look at the uh, the ab, the ab crunch is a little loose. The original bats were not like that. We'll do a comparison for sure. And uh, I forgot to mention on his neck, we got some cool black 
uh, like detail on his neck. That really stands out. I like that. It looks really mechanical. So let's go over the um, articulation for a little bit. The, these bats have like crazy amount of articulation because they're robots and they can go into any uh, any position you want. Like they, they're robots. They have no limitations. They shouldn't have any um, articulation limitations at all. So his head is on a ball joint and also down here there's a ball joint. So it can get tons of range all the way around. He can look way down and, you know, he can you know, do the Superman pose. You know, you could just fly off. Really cool. Got a lot of attitude. Amazing. Kind of loose. Check that out. So overall, the theme right now, this thing is loose. <laughs> so you got butterfly shoulder joints. They go way back. Way forward. Pretty close to being uh, not too much forward, but a lot back. You got the swivel at the uh, bicep. You got... Uh, like a single jointed elbow. I think it's kind of double. I think it's kind of double, isn't it? It's kind of a double hinge, single hinge. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's a, it's, a, it's a robot, so what the hell. You got some a side to side action here with his wrist, trigger fingers, like I mentioned. And you could probably have a side to side here, no up and down, but just side to side on both both hands. Yeah, no, no down. And you got the app crunch. You can look way, way down like that, way back. And the, the, even the diaphragm, the, 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 the swivel at the waist here is, is kind of loose, you know. A little disappointing. But I think this would display really nicely. He's not locked up at all. So he has uh, pinless uh, knees. And the, the, I guess the, uh, the elbows are pinless too. They kind of have this weird, cool hinge. Cool. And let's, uh, yeah, you could uh, move this really far back. Like you could twist like crazy. So, which is pretty awesome. At least he's not broken because I've seen other pictures of, of these guys just broken out of the package, I guess, or they just fall apart. And it feels like this uh, figure is going to fall apart. He's so loose. Yeah, so there you have it, guys. Um, Overall, right now, my first thoughts, um, he looks really cool. I have a second one. I'm going to open him up. At the, we'll do a comparison and see if it, if it has the same kind of issues. Most likely it does. So let's put the sidearm in. There we go. It's definitely, and I'm going to put the nice clean chest piece. I think my other one will be a damaged one. I'm not too sure right now. Or I might just make them clean and, and hang out with the uh, Crimson Guards and the Crimson Twins. That was, That's exactly what I was thinking, that I wanted these guys to be hanging out with the Crimson Guards and Crimson Twins. Yeah, man. Really cool looking figure. A little loose. But overall, I really enjoy the color scheme. Red and black is my jam, right? So, so let's do a little bit of comparisons with the other Crimson Bats. So I broke out the uh, Python Patrol Bat and the regular old Bat. Um, awesome looking together. Um, really cool. Um, I wanted to try out whether I could put this, uh, this head on either or of these figures. I'm going to try them out on the regular bat. All right, so let's just pop the head. Let's put the other, hopefully it fits. Doesn't seem like it wants to fit. I'm going to take the uh, this off and we'll compare ball joints. Looking at it, it looks like the regular bat has a bigger ball joint. That is awesome. Oh, they did. Check this out, guys. This is this is ridiculous. Why, Hasbro? Why? Check that out. They made the OG bat with a bigger ball joint than the Crimson bat. Why? You know, the robots, they should be able to exchange, like, they should be able to swap parts out. It's funny, I, I love this figure, but I hate it at the same time. Is that such a thing? <laughs> I love the, the color and everything like that, but this pet peeve about 
You can't swap the head out. All right, so I have the other Crimson Bat out of the packaging and uh, I geared them all up and um, I put the flamethrower on his hand just to make sure I don't get mix get them mixed up. So right now about the quality, but the second figure right now, it is a little bit better than the other one. The head is a little bit, you know, less loose, I should say, compared to the first one I opened up. Um, it's a still, the diaphragm is still a little loose, but not as bad as the other one. So, you know, I guess it's kind of a, a blind bag situation where, you know, uh, you never know what you're going to get. Um, same if it was in a window uh, packaging, you still wouldn't know whether the joints were loose or not. So there you have it, people. What do you guys think? Do you want the Crimson Bat? The quality is definitely dropped compared to even... The most recent ones, like I know his, his his upper torso is a little loose. This is probably the better product, 100%. The quality is there. Uh, nothing's nothing's really loose at all. It, it's it's a very high quality uh, figure compared to the uh, Crimson Bat. They definitely are dropping the ball on the quality. I don't, I don't know if it's the uh, the, the plastic, the mix of the plastic or whatever, because it shrinks or whatnot. So there you have it, guys. I have my all my Crimson Guard and Crimson Bats and the Crimson Twins all set up. Looks awesome together. So I want to thank everybody who's watched my videos, who's commented, who's subscribed. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers, and I got a lot more videos on the way. So Yojo and Cobra!